in the game. It's now Virginia 58. North Carolina 51, and we'll be back right after this. It'll be very difficult to gear back up again. The clock will go off in two minutes and eight seconds. Virginia has the ball. North Carolina has scored the last seven points in this game. They're back with Jimmy Miller missed a lob opportunity to Sampson. There it goes inside. Sampson has it knocked loose. That's four. That's four on Michael Jordan. That'll really hurt the Tar Heels there because they need his offensive firepower. Jordan thought they had the steal. Here we'll see. Now they're going to Sampson right over the top of the defense. He can just catch the ball up there against anybody. Michael Jordan did what you're supposed to do, and that is come up underneath the ball, but he picked up the foul. That is four, right? 5.53 left in the game. Virginia with a seven-point lead in the ball. And a new 30-second clock. And they're very passive again on the ball. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Three men around. Robinson, Carlisle trying to drive. Raddick. Couldn't see any long five. constraints we move ahead to further second half action between North Carolina and Virginia. You're back at Carmichael Auditorium. Fred White along with Billy Packer. Two minutes, 41 seconds left in this basketball game. Trying to come from behind. There's your score. Virginia leads by three. Fans getting into this ball game. Virginia has done an excellent job throughout the ball game keeping the fans out of it. And now they're fired up. Rick Carlisle, good job by Robinson. Coming out to help. Down to one 
does this tell you? It's the first foul on Sanford. Well, I think it tells us that their defense was anything but aggressive throughout the course of this ball game because in the first half, Dean Smith was able to rest a lot of people, keep them out of foul trouble, but it was a very passive ball game. Ralph Sampson, good free throw shooter, 70% on the year, one for two in this game. He has 15 points. If he misses the first one, Carolina has a shot at the tie, and he did. This game is a long way from being over. Braddock, the Tar Heels down by three. A minute 13 left in the game. Oh, good side of screen. Hyatt, and then out, tip is good. Michael Jordan with a one-point lead. Michael Jordan now with 14 points. Virginia leads by one with one minute to play. Michael Jordan, remember, has four fouls on him. He's playing very aggressively. There's a steal. Takes it away from Carlisle. Bam, and the Tar Heels go in front with 50 seconds to play. 4-63, and Carmichael just erupted. Unbelievable. Michael Jordan is so quick. And now North Carolina can afford to go back in the zone. 38 seconds to play. Carolina by one. Stokes. Virginia's got to get organized here. They're letting a lot of clock go by. 28 seconds to play. And North Carolina's got a big team out there playing that zone. Virginia better get the time. They're going to take it. To play. And Billy, it's interesting, the time on the clock, 23. That's Michael Jordan's number. And how many big plays late in crucial ball games has he made and he's only a sophomore? There again, your situation, 23 seconds left in the game. North Carolina coming from 16 back to take a one-point lead over Virginia. The Cavaliers have the basketball. And what in the world are we seeing now? They're going to hold for the last shot. Boy, I can't imagine that. Well, they sure are. are. 12 seconds left, and Virginia down by one is going to go for the last shot. Seven seconds left. Carlisle for three. Long. Rebound. Michael Jordan. And a foul call on Virginia. And Michael Jordan there again. And this ball game is over. It's all over. North Carolina has come from behind and won it. Unbelievable game. So the Heels make a big comeback, down 16, and they come back to win it, 64-63 to 63 over Ralph Sampson and Virginia. We'll come back with a summary and then some post-game comments in a moment. You see, as we remember a classic that all basketball fans can appreciate, but certainly one that still lingers in the minds of North Carolina fans, and maybe even Virginia boosters as well, the one-point win by the Heels as they came back from 16 down in 1983 to win it. 64 to 63 over the Wahoos. It seemed for most of the game like the Cavaliers were in control. They had 16 points from Craig Robinson and 15 from Ralph Sampson, but the Heels came back behind Michael Jordan's 16 points, Jimmy Braddock's 14 points, and they always knew when they were in Carmichael Auditorium that they had a chance. Matt Doherty remembers a key timeout and the words of Dean Smith in the second half. Um, we're in a situation, uh, we're down 14, he calls timeout, and he, says, he smiles and says, uh, wouldn't it be fun to pull this out and win it? Uh, the people there recognize, hey, we might win. It's a little bit like we had at Florida State this past year. And then it was a little closer, maybe it was double figures, but I did say, uh, wouldn't it be fun to come back and win after all this? And it's so what happened. It was a tremendous comeback victory. It must have been a fun comeback, but an odd one as well as North Carolina crept back into this one slowly, finally getting to within striking distance. When they did that, you know who showed up. The last two minutes were typical Michael Jordan. Well, you say typical Michael Jordan. It's not 82 Michael Jordan. He's a freshman, frail. But 83, he came on the scene without being preseason All-American or anything and was second in the voting to National Player of the Year to Ralph Sampson. And he did come through throughout the 83 season, late in the game, and this was a very good example. And he seems to be doing it ever since. Both Michael Jordan and Ralph Sampson were unanimous All-American picks in 1983. Sampson winning the Wooden Award and Michael being named Player of the Year by the Sporting News. Of course, there are a lot of players in that game who went on to stellar NBA careers. But I think for ACC fans, the memories of their college days are still very vivid. As are the memories of that classic in 1983 as North Carolina came back 16 down to beat Virginia 64 to 63. 
Hope you've enjoyed this look back at one of the great games of the ACC. I'm Terry Gannon. Until next time, so long, everybody. Great games of the ACC has been brought to you by...